Hello my friends, Whip here and welcome on back to Minecraft. Today we have an awesome mini castle time lapse ready to go here. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Today we are starting out in a birch forest biome which has this awesome hill on it that I just thought was so cool. So today we're gonna be taking this awesome little hill design here that looks out over the ocean and turning it into something pretty spectacular. We are aiming for this here castle build, which was very, very fun to come up with. I thought the process behind it was pretty cool, and I think it's almost like a unique, almost Mediterranean Roman inspired design. But with that, let's show how we built this thing. For starters here, I did use a tiny bit of world edit because I figured chopping down the trees wasn't the most entertaining thing to do. After that was done, I just came in here and started placing some blocks in this hill it was really cool as far as the shape of it overlooking the water, but it needed a little bit of love to it. So filling in a little bit of this grassy area down there, I wanted to get ourselves set up for success for being able to build things on terrain that was properly made to have a structure on it. That doesn't mean flat terrain, let's just point that out right there. That means something smooth enough to where you can use some slabs to get a pathway or road that goes up on it. For me personally, I've recently realized that I love building things that have an elevation change to them. Whether your house is half built into the side of a cliff or whatever it might be, having some sort of an elevation change to the build you're working on can instantly make it a heck of a lot more interesting and it makes it look like it's fit into the landscape. Speaking of fitting into the landscape here, you can see the idea of the design I'm going for on this one. I wanted to have a few different towers overlooking the water so we could have a good way to get a good vantage point out there. You could have a lot of easy space for guards or whoever to keep an eye on all that stuff. And then I also wanted to bring in a bit of a ruined feel. So you can see me messing around with a lot of different bits for our wall up here. I want to make it look like it was a little bit eroded and crumbling and not perfect condition. I feel like something for a build like this gives it a lot more character if there aren't pristine clean lines everywhere. So going with that ac like those accents to it, I feel like we got a really cool kind of broken down vibe but still looks like it's functional. Now, the quick way that we're able to bring into this Mediterranean environment was just adding those simple brick slab roofs on top of a more of a square tower design. That is a very, very easy way to instantly get some sort of a Mediterranean vibe. For some reason, this gray with that brick being the roof instantly to me screams like a Roman style without going to the typical sandstones or anything on those lines. And then over here, you can see I'm actually gonna be shrinking down a lot of the tower designs because I felt they were a little bit big and bulky for the height that I want to go for things, especially that big one in the back corner there. Uh, we're going to be modifying that here soon, but even this tiny tower right here on the center or on this front corner only has a two by two interior and it's kind of a rounded tower at that. Normally it'd be a little bit weird to build something like that, but in this case I think it worked out pretty well. Then doing a very, very simple front gate design of sorts, just using some spruce wood to help lift it up and make it feel like it's more of an entryway. You can tell where the entrance is, it doesn't just look like a hole in the wall. Which I think is something very important when we're adding that crumbled, rubbly accents to the walls, is we still want to give a lot of attention to certain areas to make it feel much more alive. And then coming over here, building in some larger structures, you know, where people could actually live. Not everybody's going to be living inside of a tower, always on watch duty. They're probably going to want to have somewhere to hang. And this would be something that you could very easily turn into your survival base of sorts. There's a lot of space on the inside for this one. You could cram a lot of storage in there. You can even start a small catacombs or crypt area to get under the ground and everything like that. But that's kind of where the build is going from here. My voice is still a little raw. Unfortunately, the stupid cold I have is really, really tearing me down and I am very over it at this point. I feel totally fine but I can't get rid of the cough. So talking too much brings that back here for me. Anyways, that's enough of me talking about myself here. I'm gonna leave y'all with the rest of this build time lapse here, and I'll catch up with y'all for a little bit of the tour at the end.
randomly decided at the very end of this one with our wandering trader coming in, in the background there that we should build up this awesome little boat area i felt like the castle needed something to situate it more into the landscape i really like it up there some custom cliffs probably would have been a good idea to go but i want to leave this as about vanilla friendly as possible about as simple as you could possibly make one of these mountain ones but if you just brought some stone right along here to help break this just being a dirt cliff face up but it does look pretty cool as is so i don't know if you really need it they would probably just be going above and beyond like that but anyways this little guy down here i love this boat design it's so simple but it works so well i added some trap doors underneath all of these little bits here so that we could hang some more banners off of it and make that mast look a little bit longer than not it's a very very tiny boat though so there's not a whole lot we can really do with this one but we got a little bit of storage over here and a walkway that'll take us all the way up to our castle this villager wandering trader you got anything good nope we can get some gunpowder to maybe create some tnt and blow you up but you know that's fine moving on up to the castle i really like the idea of using some jungle leaves around here give it almost a mediterranean vibe i feel like with the brick roof styles that we went for here it's almost a little bit mediterranean -y or roman-esque but with these jungle leaves inside of my pack here they have these little bit of fruit things on it which almost to me seem like a pair of sorts so I thought that was really cool but we got a nice little front entrance right here very very simple I wanted this fortress to very much feel a little on the rundown side and I think I was able to get that across with the wall designs being so rickety kind of like they just piled up some stones and just quickly needed to get this set up here so that they could watch out over the waterways here and I think it, we did, we're able to do a pretty good job of that one. I didn't do any of the interiors or anything like that on this build today unfortunately i kind of ran out of time here i got a lot of the other planning stuff going that i'm very excited to show you all in the near future but we've got a little bit of an entrance into here that could be your bedroom starter house and you can actually break all of this open and have a huge huge area inside of here so if you took like this and created like a flat floor right there and then brought it down a half slab or down the block like to this layer here and filled it in there you could get a really really good size survival base inside of this place you could have a little bit of a kitchen storage room stuff over there bedroom off in this corner and who knows whatever that whatever the heck else you want inside of your house i never really know what we want inside of those but up here we've got another bit of a watchtower that you can go inside the door get up there and then i also want to give it a little bit of a balcony going around right over here so maybe the guards could look out over this central area you could check if any creepers snuck inside and then uh, you know maybe they're trying to steal some of the goods out of your storage down there then of course our pathway leads itself back here to another final tower in the back corner that's just a ladder to get on top of and fall inside and then you're stuck maybe you trap your villagers in here great place for villager trading can we okay now we're not stuck anymore that's pretty good but that is it for today's build i hope y'all did enjoy this one i had a lot of fun coming up with this design here i hope y'all did enjoy it please be sure to hit that like button down below let me know what other type of time lapse stuff you want to see maybe some more tutorial esque side of things or how to plan structures out let me know that stuff down in the comments below i always appreciate and love hearing back from all of you but anyways be sure to click that subscribe button if you're brand new, and I will catch you on the flip side.